If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. This is how we know that we know. I know a lot of Christians say, I got a close personal relationship with God, with Christ, with anybody. But this is how we know that, that, that we, we know him. Because a lot of Christians say that they know Christ. A lot of Christians say that they know the Most High. But if we, if, how can we prove that we know Christ, that we know the Most High? How can we prove any of this? The Bible actually has rules and regulations and guidelines so that we can know who has the truth and who doesn't. Who's a liar and who's a truth teller? This is what, this is what he said, reading from the top. And hereby, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments, that's how we know we know him. If, if anybody who says, who's in church with a suit on and a gold tooth and, 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 and them shiny gator shoes say that they know Christ as they're cutting into their pork chop or eating a ham sandwich, or setting up a, a seafood shrimp crab boil or whatnot, we know that they're liars. Why? Because the Most High told us not to eat any of that stuff. Right. The Most High told us not to sell it. If we're, eat, if we're about to chop with some uh, uh, birthday cake as we're handing over a gift to them, we know that these people are liars. Why? Because the Most High says that we're not to celebrate that, that any of those days. Keep going. Verse 4. He that saith, I know him. He that says, I know him. And keepeth not his commandments. And eat crip, shrimp, crab, pork, uh, pork or lobster, smoke cigarettes, buys whores, celebrates uh, uh, all these, these, these wild separate holidays. Keep going. Is a liar. Is a liar. Anybody who does any of that stuff that I mentioned, anybody who, who does not follow all these laws, statutes, and commandments is a liar. Those are not my words, those are the most high words. They are liars. And the reason why we do not believe this book, which has the truth, which is the truth, is because we believe our oppressor. They have beat us into submission so thoroughly that anything that they tell us they, we believe it's true. They tell us that our king looks like that. They tell us our king looks like a, a, a Donald Trump reject. When, when the book where he originates from describes exactly how he looks like, who's a dark-skinned man, who has a loud voice and who's not some girly man. But we believe that he looks like that because he's... He, our press has beaten us so thoroughly. Well, we're here to actually build our community back up. We're here to tell our community that our oppressor is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. And the Most High is coming back only for so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. If you got a problem with that, you need to take that up with the Most High. I'm saying everything that's coming out, everything that I'm saying is coming out the scripture. Read that from the top, one more time. He said, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. Is a liar, keep going. And the truth is not in him. And the truth is not in him, keep going. Verse five, 
But whoso, whoso keepeth his word, whosoever keepeth his words, whosoever follows every last one of these laws, statutes, and commandments, keep going. In him verily is the love of God perfected. In him is the love of God perfected. This is what this is what our book says. This is what our constitution, our rule book says. In order for us to get love of the the, the love of God perfected, we have to follow every single one of these laws, statutes, and commandments. If we want to get up out of our oppressor's boot, we if we want to get up off our oppressor knee from up on our neck, we have to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. The only way that we can do that is following these laws, statutes, and commandments. It has nothing to do with what the Christian church is teaching us because the Christian church is a, is a haven for white supremacy. It right. has nothing to do with us. Everything they tell us in the church is a lie. That's right. Every single thing they tell us is a lie. Yeah. We stay, the more we stay in the church, the more we are destroyed. Right. We need to come, come up out of this Christian church and get with the actual scripture, what the actual scripture tells us to do. Continue on. Hereby know that we are in him. Read that one more time. Hereby know we that we are in him. So this is what the, this is what the Most High is telling us. Give me Romans 6 and 1. Romans chapter 6 and 1. All these scriptures is actually telling you to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. All of them. Not one of them tell, told us that we should follow just a handful or, or uh, cherry pick this or that. The Most High gave us commandments, rules that we are to obey at all times. Not just, not just something that we can uh, uh, fall back on or when times get hard or, or when it fits us or suits us has nothing to do with that. The Most High gave us law, statutes, and commandments that we, sh we are to keep throughout our generations. Not only us, we are to teach our children to, to, to follow these law, statutes, and commandments. We are to teach our children's children so that our heritage, which is these law, statutes, and commandments, which is in turn this earth, can be passed down to us. Read what you got. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Shall we continue in sin? Just because uh, the most, this is, this is the story of when, when they're saying, well, Christ died for our sins, so we can do whatever we want. The most high, the reason why Christ died for us is to give us grace. We mistake grace for, for um, a time period, an unlimited time period, where we can do anything and everything we want. That is an absolute lie. That is an absolute white supremacist lie. That, that's how we get, we get kept down and our oppressors get pushed up. So what, what we say now? Read that part again. So what shall we say now? So what, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we keep doing things that, 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 that is equal to sin? That, that we, because we have grace? Should we continue to do this because we have grace? Is that, what, is that what they're saying? Because we have grace, we should just keep on eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster? You may not know this, that that's actually in the scripture, but that's what grace is for. That's, this is what grace is for. Be, now that you're actually hearing that you cannot eat that crap, you have to give it up. You are right now in what we call what, what the scripture call a grace period. We call, we coin that part a grace period. We have a period of time, unspecified amount of time, where we need to get our act together, clean ourselves up. How many times have you heard about drive-by shooting by, uh, by some gang bangers, or some drug dealers, some dope boys, and the dope boy got shot up? That was, that was, they had a time period where they can actually get up out of that lifestyle. The end of that time period was when those bullets were, were flying out. How many times have you heard someone who contracted HIV or, or syphilis or AIDS or something like that? Whether they were shooting up drugs or, or out here whoring out. Those people had time periods to actually get themselves together. 
the end of that grace period, the end of that time grace period, was when they contracted that disease. If we do not have any of that stuff, even if you do have any of that stuff, you still have time to come up out of that, that, that situation. You still have time to come up out of it. If you can hear this, you have time to come up out of that situation. Don't take this grace period for granted. Because t just, like, just, like every, just like everything on this earth, things will expire. The most highest grace period will expire. And if you think that you have some unlimited amount of grace period, you're wrong. And that's what Christian Church teaches us, that we have some sort of unlimited amount of grace period so we can just do whatever we want, whenever we want, however long we want to do it. And that is not according to the actual scriptures. Read that from the top one more time. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Keep going. God forbid. Hell no. God forbid. That means no. No, we should not. We should get our stuff together, get our act right, clean ourselves up, and follow these law, statutes, and commandments. Put down the drugs. Stop whoring. Stop going to the strip clubs. Stop smoking cigarettes. Stop eating pork shrimp crab lobster. Tell your wife that you ain't gonna celebrate her birthday or her anniversary anymore. That's hard to do. Happy wife equals happy life. You still you 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 do all these other things and you still ain't happy. The rate of divorce right now in America is like 50 percent, and that's that's just the people who actually go to the courthouse, get a license, and get married. What about all those people who've been together 5, 10, 15 years? You know what I'm saying? Who don't actually go and get a piece of paper? That's still they they still break up every day. Happy wife equals happy life is garbage. That's another white supremacist lie. Right. You are not to believe that. And if you want a happy, long-lasting, everlasting marriage, open up this book and find out how you get in a marriage like that. That's Keep going. How shall we that are dead to sin? Drop that. Give, drop me down to 15. Drop me down to verse 15. So he's saying, shall we just continue with sin that grace may abound? No. Nah. No, nah, we should not do that. Keep going. Verse 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? So what? Shall we sin that because we're not under the law? Shall, and, what, and what exactly does that mean? This is, this is a lot of things. This is, this is one of the reasons why Christians say that we, that we don't have to follow the law. What he's actually saying that we're not under the law is if you were to eat pork back in the Old Testament, there were people who actually came and found out that you were eating pork and would put you to death. That's when we were under the law. If you were eating shrimp, or if you touched a certain dead animal, or if you were a whore, or an adulterer, if, if we were under the law at that, like we were at that time, there would be an authoritative figure, the Levites, the priests, would actually come, hold you under trial, find you guilty and put you to death. This is what they're saying since we're not under law, under the law. What they're saying is the Most High will execute that judgment. Now, someone will not be stoned for, for committing adultery. They would be in back in the Old Testament before, before Christ was on the scene. That's what, that's what would happen. Now, an adulterer would, would, would most likely die from, from a, a love triangle. And, and that's, or, or, or a jealous lover, or die from a disease. All of this happens because the Most High ordains that. And that's what they're saying. If, if that has not happened to you, consider yourself under grace. Stop doing that. Do not do that anymore. Because you will be in, in, in danger of death, committed at, by the hands of the Most High. And if you don't believe me, that's in the scripture too. The Most High says he kills and, and, and makes alive. Right, right. That's not my words, that's, just, that's, that's what the scripture says. Read that from the top. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? 
but under grace? God forbid. God forbid. You know what? Give me, hold this, hold this. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 39 because everybody believes what Christians say. Everybody believes that God is all love. Right. Everybody believes that, that if you mess up, that the Most High God will actually, will just forgive you like an old grandpa, like Santa Claus. All you gotta do is say sorry and, 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 say, and promise you won't do it again. Meanwhile, you're, you're, you're in the mess right, right back again. But this is really what the, how the Most High is. This is how the Most High is. Read what you got. See now that I, even I, am He. See now, even I am He. Keep going. And there is no God with me. I'm the man. You hear me? This is what the Most High is saying. I'm the man. There's nobody around here that, that can do what I do. I am the God. I am God. There is no other God around me. And know that it's me. I want you to know everything that happens to you is because of me. This is what the Most High is saying. This is the Most High Spirit. This is how the Most High is. And if you want to disobey the Most High after hearing this, God be with you. Keep going. I kill. He what? I kill. Read that from the top because people don't understand who they think this is. They think this is just some man talking. This is not some man. This is the Most High. Read that from the top. See now that I, even I, am He. And there is no God with me. And there is no God with me. We are, if you want to look this up, we are in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. He's saying he is God. Keep going. I kill. I what? I kill. He kills. When you say God is all love, that is a lie. That is a white supremacist lie. Right. Because right here in the scripture, he's saying he's God and he what? I kill. The most high kills. What else does he do? And I make a lie. If he wants you dead, he is going to kill you. If he wants you alive, you will be alive. If you're walking around hearing this, you need to stop. You need to start following the law, statutes, and the commandments while you are still breathing. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper or toilet, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order